This caliphate, it cannot be established by mere wishing. We may be wishing it, it won't be established. It cannot be established by mere praying. Prayers are always accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have done whatever you could do, when you have spent all that you had, and then you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, I have done what I could do. Now the result is in your hands. Then the prayers are accepted, otherwise not. And I am saying one thing more. Even, you know, sacrifices won't take us anywhere unless the sacrifices are on the pattern of the methodology of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Sacrifices also will go in vain. We have been seeing what is happening in the Muslim world. More than one million lives have been lost in Afghanistan. Where is the Khilafah? Where is the Islamic State? Still, you know, infighting is going on. Although I hope, inshallah, in very near future, there will be something good coming out of that land. The sacrifices will, brood, will bear their fruit. But you know the result up till now is very disappointing. Why? Because we are not taking to the methodology of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So caliphate cannot be established. Let me quote here a saying of Imam Malik rahimahullah. He says, لَن يَسْلُحَ آخِرُ هَذِهِ اللُّمَّةِ إِلَّا بِمَا صَلَحَ بِهِ أَوَّلُهَا The last part of this ummah will not be reformed except on the pattern and methodology and on the lines on which the first part of the Ummah was deformed. Now you know there is a relationship between that Hadith and this saying of Imam Malik. The first part of the Ummah was Khilafah ala min Hajin Nubuwa. And as the Prophet foretold, the last part of the Ummah will also be Khilafah ala min Hajin Nubuwa. So that, what does it mean? That the same methodology will have to be adopted if you want to establish the Khilafah for the second time, which was adopted by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.